ready to assemble and install the Eco Large Basket. With this basket, you'll get the large tray slash crate bottom, two long sides, and two short sides. The hardware that comes with the kit, short screws for the assembly, long screws for insulation on the bike, the necessary washers and nuts, as well as some spacers and some loop clamps if you're installing it on the cargo rack with the tube construction. Okay, step one. Step one is to install our short sides to the bottom of the basket. For that, I've got the necessary short bolts as well as the washers and the nuts. We're gonna put the bolt from the outside of the short side through the hole in the bottom and a washer and a nut on the inside. We're gonna leave these loose because that'll help make sure we can get everything aligned in the next steps. Always use a washer under the nut. Just get it started so nothing's gonna fall off and we'll repeat for the other side. Second short side, same deal. We've got three of our short bolts, three washers and three nuts. We're just gonna get everything started finger tight. Okay, that's step one complete. On to step two, where we're gonna install our long sides. For step two, you'll notice that we have a part of the long side that has three holes, and those correspond with the holes in the bottom of the basket. We'll need five bolts on each side, along with washers and nuts to get these started. Once everything's connected on both sides, we'll go around and tighten all the hardware by hand. Okay, that's one long side of the large basket complete. On to the next side. All right, final side, align the holes, bolts from the outside, and washers and nuts inside. Again, leaving the hardware loose in the previous steps, make sure we have space to get everything started in the corners on this step. Okay, that's all four sides and the bottom loosely attached together. Now we're gonna go through and tighten everything by hand. For the assembly, you're gonna need a three millimeter hex key, or in this case, I'm gonna be using a three millimeter hex socket adapter. You'll also need an eight millimeter wrench or an eight millimeter socket. Since all the bolts are already started, it doesn't really matter where we start. We're just gonna work our way all the way around, tightening each set of hardware. You don't have to tighten it too much. These are nylon insert lock nuts, so they're never gonna come loose. So just get it snug and that'll be enough. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we've tightened every bolt and nut, make sure you didn't miss any, and that's your Eco Large Basket fully assembled and ready to install on your bike. We've got our large basket ready to install on the rear rack. And this procedure is gonna be exactly the same for our smaller basket. If you look inside the bottom of your basket, you'll see that there's two small triangles and those are arrows pointing toward the bike. And that makes sure that you're orienting the holes properly with the holes that made up to it on the rack. So we can either orient it like this or like this. For this demonstration, I'm gonna do it in the wide orientation. With the basket resting on the rack, I'm going to identify the mounting holes that line up. With the basket resting on top of the rack, I'm gonna identify the four holes that match up with the holes on the rack. Now I know which one those are, and I'm gonna set the basket aside. In order to clear the bolt heads, we're going to use these small spacers that came in the hardware kit, and we're gonna carefully place those in the correct location, which 
which for us, you can see which ones they are. So we're gonna place each of those in place. Looks good. Now we're gonna very carefully place the basket on top of these and try not to move those spacers. That way it'll let us just drop our bolts straight through. The basket is really lightweight, so this should be easy to do. Now I'm just looking through the holes. I can see that I'm aligned, dropping this down, and then I'll start a bolt through the hole, through the spacer, and all the way through the rack. If things move around, that's okay. You can reach in there and maybe move those spacers around. Looks good. I'm gonna just give a peek underneath and make sure that I can't see any of the threads. So that's gonna confirm that the bolt is through the spacer. So with that done, it's just a matter of grabbing the washers and the nuts that came with the kit. I'm gonna hold the bolt head on top and just start the nut underneath by hand. Once I get all four started, I'll go back and tighten them. Grab the other washers and nuts. That's all four started. So now we're gonna just tighten them and that is with an eight millimeter wrench for the nut and a three millimeter hex on top. I'm using a ratchet. And I'll just do the same thing for the other three. That's all four mounting bolts and nuts correctly installed. We're gonna double check that nothing is loose. While you're at it, give a look around the basket, make sure all the hardware is tight. The installation is exactly the same if the orientation is different, and it's exactly the same whether you're using the large basket or the small basket.